Hey, good evening. Welcome back to another Marvel Champions live stream. We are back. We were we were just here, it felt like. But we're back. We're playing some more Marvel Marvel Champions and we are going to do what Josh from Get Up and Game suggested that we do for our stream tonight. Uh, well, we're at least going to start. I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to finish it, but it's it's kind of a challenge. It's it's a it's a little bit of a challenge. And so what we're doing is we're going to be taking on Expert Magneto. And so and with the four x-men so it will be a rotating game between colossus cyclops shadowcat and phoenix where each one of the aspects has to be paired with one of the heroes so if say colossus uses justice none of the other three can use justice to take on magneto and once it has been completed that aspect has been locked out and then we have to continue on with the next couple aspects so it probably is going to look like a <laughs> a couple of challenging games especially i have not tried expert magneto before but i have like looked through it i i i think that it's going to be a very difficult challenge but that's kind of what we're here for that's going to be kind of kind of fun but so so we're going to start it out we're going to start it out we're going to pick a hero and then draft a aspect to use with that hero and then try it out on magneto i think so so there's a little bit of strategy to kind of think about right so magneto you have to go through this side scheme in order to actually get to where he can be a little bit more easily managed and with um losing his steady after you take care of nine threat so it's gonna be three 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 then he loses steady so there is a little bit of gamification that can happen here whereas like phoenix has a three thwart so she's definitely not going to be justice and other stuff like that um kind of the thought process because i've been thinking about this a little bit already today i think we're going to pair colossus with justice because colossus is our weakest thwarter out of the the four out of the team here and he's probably going to need the biggest help we already ran Colossus Justice against Magneto on stream, so we're going to save that one. We're going to choose a different hero for tonight's stream and then uh, come back to Colossus Justice probably later. So that leaves Cyclops, Shadowcat, Phoenix for aggression, leadership, and protection. And that is, I guess, kind of the, uh, the fun of trying to figure out what we're going to do. And my stream seems weird. My stream seems all messed up. That's weird. Oh, well. so I'm thinking that protection is going to be the hardest out of the four aspects to take on Magneto with, with aggression probably being the second hardest, then just or then leadership, then justice. And so we have justice already kind of pseudo locked in at Colossus. The way that I'm doing it is that until I win with that. Why is my stream all, all messy? Hmm. Weird. No, oh, it'll probably fix itself. It's probably fine. So once I, once I win, then that aspect has been removed. So right now it's a free for all. So if we start with Cyclops and we do leadership and that doesn't work and we switch into aggression and we win with aggression, then aggression's out and we can still do leadership. So I'm thinking, and this is kind of just my train of thought so far is that phoenix because she has such a powerful ability to thwart probably means that she is going to be my go-to for protection so i'm thinking phoenix is protection i'm thinking that cyclops is my leadership and then that leaves shadowcat for aggression just because i think shadowcat and aggression just work so very well together um, I would like to go Shadowcat protection, but I'm worried that Shadowcat would have issues with thwarting. Maybe not, maybe not, but I just think that Phoenix with protection would be a little bit better. She has the aerial, so she has ever vigilant. She has access to a lot of that kind of stuff that I think can just kind of elevate her protection play. It's also expert Magneto, so we're, we're expecting a couple losses. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Also, good news. So the stream tonight is being 
sponsored in part by 1985 games so 1985 games does uh, a lot of accessories for rpgs and um, they have like a deck of npcs and everything like that so if you type in the command sponsor into the chat tonight and it'll also be in the video uh, linked in the youtube video then you can use that code part of that goes to supporting the stream so if uh, if you are an rpg player then I highly recommend checking out their products and also in the meantime supporting the stream and I found 1985 beer and so now drinking 1985 beer as well I'm gonna I can't I can't turn this like sideways because it'll all spill out but I thought that was kind of fun anyways so with all of that said I have played the most of Colossus Cyclops and Shadowcat so I think I want to start out with Phoenix that is I think a little bit of maybe a downside because Phoenix with I think the worst aspect going against Magneto and also the one that I'm least familiar with could be an issue as I'm learning expert Magneto and will refine the deck and move into it so Phoenix could be an issue but the, the other yeah we're gonna go with Phoenix I think we're gonna start with Phoenix we'll see how Phoenix works out and then depending on how long they take this is a very beefy villain so starting out with 20 hit points in stage two and then 22 in stage three so it could take a while to get through these games and i'm not quite sure how many of these games we're going to be able to get through tonight but we will continue on in the series just as as we go forward so cool yeah so let's start with phoenix we'll put these aside i have all of their decks over here Losses. The only one I knew that we weren't going to be doing was uh, was was Colossus, just because we've already done a lot of Colossus on stream. But we'll take all of. Oh my gosh, Dark Phoenix! I I I like forget about Dark Phoenix. Like not not actually, but I try to forget about Dark Phoenix. Okay, so so let's go with protection. So Magneto, and we're just running the standard set. Well, okay, we're running the recommended set. I, that kind of has to be set a little bit differently. We're running the standard set, um, expert set, acolytes, and magneto. So everything that is kind of recommended is what we are running. So not, not we're not changing up modular sets, not doing anything crazy there. So we got expert. Um, so let's look at let's look at protection. We're, and we're going to build the decks on stream just because I think that there is going to be a lot of refining and a lot of stuff to kind of think about um, going forward. So I don't think we really want to go with. Like a defense build, but I mean, we got. Got psychic misdirection. Should be kind of interesting because of all of these acolytes. The acolytes could be pretty nasty, and it could help us take care of some of the the minion problem that I think we're gonna run into. Um, so second misdirection is a is an interesting call. It does require us to kind of leave some minions out there, which can be a little scary. But then, um, but I, but I mean like we're we're swinging at Magneto with the threes, so I feel like that's probably a good call. If we go like a psychic misdirection, um, I feel like that will be cool. Let's look at our basic cards as well. Um, we're probably gonna run like heavy ally swarm because we don't want to be soaking too many of those three attacks. Um, so let's go with a let's go with Professor X. That's if we can get Professor X onto the table, then it's at least a we get through one stage of this of this side scheme side deck type thing. So let's go Professor X. We'll go Angel and probably Colossus. I'm just gonna pull them out, and if we use them, we use them. If we don't, we don't. But also, we are gonna have access to Cerebro's full potential right off the bat. So we can go ahead and use that because we control a psionic character. So let's go ahead and grab Cerebro. And she, no, she was a team building exercise character. 
Not a deaf focus. Yeah, so she's team building exercise. Let's go ahead and grab two of those. The other issue with, with expert and with this is they come out swinging. So it's going to be a little bit of sustain and then try and build back up. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, okay. Um, I'm so excited for Storm. I'm looking at Soul Sisters, like the team up card. Storm looks so freaking cool. I, I don't know how she'll play in solo, but she looks so, so cool in multiplayer. Let's go Utopia. X Mansion. Has anyone had any luck with with expert Magneto yet? And X Jet. Let's go with X Jet. So really heavy, really heavy basic package. Just as all of the Sorry, I just knocked everything. As all of the X-Men have. Look at allies here. We've got Rock Slide. We could go Polaris. Polaris is kind of cool. Passing out those tough status cards. That could be kind of nice. Um, just thinking about how to soak up all the damage. We got two, four, six, eight, ten right there. Let's go ahead and grab our doubles. Genius, energy, strength. So there's three. Hmm. Unflappable could be kind of interesting. I don't I don't think I really want to run unflappable. Let's go mutant protectors. That seems really good. Um, especially with our high high ally. Hey, Blunderbutt, just tuning in. Who are we building? So we are doing Josh's challenge that he sent out, or that he said this morning. Um, what did I just do? We are building Phoenix. So the idea is, is that we're going to be taking on Expert Magneto with the four different X-Men, each in a different aspect. So we have to kind of draft the aspects into the four different X-Men. So if I use protection, I win with protection. I cannot use protection in any of the other three X-Men. And so I'm thinking that Phoenix probably has one of the better matches up matchups against Magneto. And this is our first game. And if we use Phoenix here with protection, because she has the three thwarts, she can get through this side scheme fairly quickly. Then protection, we don't have to use it for another, which I think protection is probably the worst matchup against Magneto just because of how much threat he's throwing onto the table. So we're building Phoenix first and building her in protection. I was grabbing mutant protectors. So since we're doing, ooh, we, let's run Jocasta because this is a defense card. Chikasa will allow us to go grab that defense card and keep it um, keep it under her so that we can utilize it at the right time. And I feel like we probably have enough allies. We've got Polaris, Colossus, Angel, Professor X. So that's four, five. We're going to go one more mutant protectors. We're going to lean heavy into the mutant protector route, I think. It's a hero interrupt, so that that is good to know. Uh protective training is really cool. Oh, we want to go ever vigilant. Just to get those readies cuz she is so incredibly solid. Oh, Ever Vigilant is. I haven't put away my cards from this morning. <laughs> so I have all of these cards just out. We'll go What Doesn't Kill Me and Ever Vigilant. She'll be able to hit that um, physical kicker pretty easily. We have a really high cost deck right now. This is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Hmm. I want to run 
some psychic misdirections. We may just be holding on to those. But also, I don't think we've got to use these a ton in our in our initial playthroughs. And then maybe just power protection. That may round us out because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards that can be used, power protection can can kick for us. Um, anything else that I'm just completely missing? Powerful punch could be interesting, especially to take out some of these minions. Let's take a look at what their health is. Five, five, four. Okay, so four is nice, six is not as nice. I mean, we can, we can, uh, powerful punch seems pretty good in this scenario. Being able to take out those minions before they are able to activate. Hmm. We'll run it with this, and then if we find that we need the powerful punch, we will we'll we'll modify and rebuild. Okay. So Phoenix. Jean Grey. Set up, put Phoenix Force into play. Restrained side face up with four power counters on it. Did you see the power counters that by the same token? It's like a it's like a sphere or it's like a circle and you like pull them out and it's like fragmented. It's pretty sweet. Shuffle these guys in. Set the orbital orbital decay side scheme aside. Reveal the boarding party side scheme. When defeated, you flip this card and Magneto cannot take a lot of damage. Kind of the strategy that we're going to be pursuing is getting rid of this boarding party um, pretty quickly, and then we can then it's less bad when we progress on the main scheme. So we'll see how that works, and we're gonna not worry. We're not necessarily gonna worry about hurting Magneto. It's I, th I think the first thing that we want to be doing is getting this boarding party. Um, taken care of so magneto says that when revealed deal each player a face down encounter card he is steady and tough 20 hit points starting out with 20 hit points that's so much so much so we're gonna do this before we shuffle in our obligation Oof. so i uh i did a video i, I recorded a video today that was not necessarily a how to play Marvel Champions, but it was a play along first game. So I played with the Spider-Man and uh, Captain Marvel decks that they suggest and kind of like methodically walk through it. And it was like, it was so nostalgic, like going back and, and watching the, or playing like the initial game uh, with the first Rhino. And it's like, oh, this is, this is just fun. Um, so. We'll put that out here in a, a week or so, but like it was just I played two handed. It was just it was just a good time. Face down encounter card. Gene starts with six. Let's see what we got. Power protection. We got Professor X. Um, what doesn't kill me will mole again because we can't do anything with that. We got ever vigilant, um, which we'll probably mole again that as well. This comes in with one. And after you place a magnet counter on this scheme, if there are three or more, you discard um, cards until you get a magnet card and then remove three magnet counters. And we scheme out of five. Valkyron, how do you feel about Phoenix? I like Phoenix a lot. I, she is, okay. I like Phoenix a lot. However, she is my least favorite X-Men that they have put out. So um, she's also my least played. I feel like she does have a fairly decent learning curve but I, 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 I do really like Phoenix. Um, I, I like the, when am I supposed to go unleashed? And that decision I think is a really satisfying decision because it's very much a, this could be very, very, very game changing. <laughs> so we're gonna mulligan a psychic blast as well. So we got a, ooh, we got an X jet. That's kind of cool. An angel and a mutant protectors. Okay, so mutant protectors coming in hmm. okay we'll see what happens i 
I think she's I think she is very strong. I will also say that. I believe this is a pattern out there being the least favorite X-Men. Yeah, which which is surprising because I thought a lot of people before they popped out, Shadowcat was by far like that lowest like kind of power ranking or which one do you like the least? And it was very much uh, Shadowcat, but Shadowcat has been coming out swinging, man. Like people love Shadowcat. I love Shadowcat. Um, okay, so let's flip up to Phoenix. We can use a power counter as a wild resource once per round. I'm going to go ahead and put, you don't have to exhaust it, but I will forget if I don't. So let's, Let's go ahead and use one power counter on Phoenix Force. Toss a mutant protector and an angel for an X Jet. We'll use X Jet and a power of protection to play Polaris. So after she enters play, give an X Men character a tough status card. So we'll give Phoenix a tough status card. We'll have Phoenix thwart three off of boarding party. So this flips over. Magneto cannot have more than 12 sustained damage. And then when defeated, we pull in the other side scheme. Mm, we're going to hang on to Professor X. We'll have Polaris just knock this tough off. She'll take one damage. And I have one less hit point. I just put it at 10. I didn't know what I was going to play. Have you played? Um, have you been able to play Phoenix yet? And what are your thoughts on her? We'll stand up. I, got, I may want to, I may should have held on to mutant protectors. Nah. We got more mutant protectors. I'd rather hang on to Professor X. Telekinetic attack. Phoenix Firebird. Strength. And White Hot Room. Okay. Still waiting for it. Oh, yeah. Which is in what? Nine days now? I think you said the 28th. Mm. We'll place one here. Magneto is going to attack us for three plus a boost. We will take it to the face. Three plus two. There goes an Acolyte. So that's nice. That's going to run into the tough. Then we get one Magnet counter. 28th. Nice. Well, uh, here's to it coming very soon. I got two encounter cards. The first one being M Tight Sentinel. When defeated, give Magneto a tough status card. It has guard and oh shoot, another one. <laughs> okay, well we have uh, we have things to do now. Oh jeez. Alrighty then. Um. Hmm. Let's go Phoenix Force for one. We'll go Strength and a Telekinetic Attack to take out this Imti Sentinel for... We'll give Magneto a tough card when he's defeated. Let's go ahead and thwart... Actually, we got one, three... No. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Just a few days away from Storm and Wolverine. Hopefully not delayed. I yeah, I would I, I really hope they don't delay those as well. Because that those come out on what the eleventh? God, that feels so soon. That feels so soon. That's exciting. Hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking what I'm what I'm trying to figure out is we can go extra to get Professor X down. Professor X can take the hit. Um from Magneto. Then we have an M Tide Sentinel, which would just hit us for two. Which wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, and Mojo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that Mojo is coming out on the same day. That's really exciting, too. Um, that's going to... Yeah, I'm going to do... I'll do another, like, big stream weekend when that comes out. Because that does sound very fun. I feel like White Hot Room is going to be really solid for us. To be able to heal whenever we roll down. 
Hmm. So let's do that. Let's go X Jet and toss Phoenix Firebird for a white hot room and hopefully draw into a mutant protectors or something. Actually, I don't want to I don't want to mutant protectors, Professor X. But let's go ahead and thwart three here to pull in orbital decay. So when defeated, flip this card over and reveal physical strain that makes him lose his steady. So that's nice. And then let's go ahead and have Polaris hit this M time M type type Sentinel for two. And that'll be it. We'll, ooh, okay. So what we'll do is we'll thwart this down and then Professor X can confuse. So that'll be nice. Rise from the ashes when you would be defeated. Remove this card from the game. Ready your identity and restore its printed hit point value to its value instead. Remove each power counter from Phoenix Force. We got Jocasta. Telepathic Trickery. And another Telepathic Trickery. So two, four, five. We're going to place one here on Asteroid M. Magneto is going to attack. Polaris is going to step in and take it. So it's going to be a three... Uh, give Magneto a tough status card and a face down boost card. He already has a tough status card, but here's his boost card. Polaris dies. We got another magnet counter. So next attack we'll get an M tight signal will hit us. We'll take that to the face. We're down to seven. Our bad card is metal shards. When revealed, deal one damage to each character you control. Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. So one damage to me. Magnet counter does trigger. So we'll discard until we get a magnet card. There goes an advance, which is nice. Attached to Magneto. Magneto gains retaliate one. When Magneto would take any amount of damage, place it here instead. Then if there are eight or more damage here, discard this card. Oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Um... Okay. So let's go ahead and toss a telepathic trickery, telepathic trickery, and an X jet to play Professor X. Oh, wait, hold up. Before we're going to thwart this last, we're going to thwart orbital decay and attach this to Magneto, giving him he loses steady. Then we're going to play Professor X and confuse Magneto. Professor X will thwart three off of the main. He'll take a damage for that. Hmm. Okay, we're going to toss a rise from the ashes and ready up at this point draw into utopia team building exercise what doesn't kill me okay that's nice and a cerebro there we go two four five place one here magneto is going to attack for three plus a boost card professor x will defend this plus zero x goes away oh wait plus this one too uh plus three okay Nice. M tight Sentinel is going to hit me for two. Down to four. And our bad card is going to be Assault. Okay. Well, we will defend this. So it's going to be three. If this is an attack, defeats an ally, place one magnet counter on the main scheme. So no magnet counter, but... That does go up. I take one damage. I'm down to three. Maybe I shouldn't have tossed Rise from the Ashes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and use a Phoenix Force to play Cerebro. Let's do X Jet and Team Building Exercise. No, X Jet and Jacosta. To play What Doesn't Kill Me. So 
ready and heal too. Um, I guess we will attack one here on the M-Type. We'll flip down to Alter Ego Farm. We'll use White Hot Room to heal two damage. One, two. So we're up to seven. We'll use Cerebro to go search uh, our deck for a X-Men ally. Cyclops could be interesting. Cyclops or Colossus? We're going to take Colossus. Mm, I'm going to take Cyclops. Because Colossus could be a better target for mutant protectors. Then we're going to use Cyclops and team building exercise as... Ooh, actually, no, because we don't have a lot of X-Men back in there. So we're going to use Utopia and Col Cyclops for a team building exercise. Okay. So we're all ready. It's coming out swinging. Ugh. Mutant protectors, of course, while we're in Alter Ego. Team building exercise. Energy. Power of protection. Mental paralysis. Two, four, five. And Phoenix Firebird. Starting out, we're going to place one here. Magneto's confused. M-Type is going to place two. Our bad card is Under Fire Surge. Reveal the top card of the encounter deck, of course. Uh, teamwork, Acolyte, Toughness. When defeated, give the villain a tough status card. If the villain already had a tough status card, heal four damage from it. Joke's on you. We have not even touched him yet. And we got Magnetically Sealed. When revealed, place two additional threat here for each ally in play. So zero. Nice. So that comes in with two, and that has a Crisis. Okay. So I think maybe the play here is actually hanging on to Mutant Protectors, going to get Colossus, and using Mutant Protectors to slide Colossus in to block a Magneto attack. Let's do that. Let's do... Let's go ahead and grab Colossus with our Cerebro. We'll use White Hot Room to heal two. So we're back up to full. Um, we're just going to play like we don't have these in our hand. We'll flip up to Phoenix. Is this an elite? It's not an elite minion. Nice. We need to get her out of there because... The teamwork feat or the teamwork keyword. Let's use an energy for a second copy of team building exercise. We'll use one team building exercise as well as X Jet to play mental paralysis on Unison. So she cannot activate. Hmm. Let's go ahead and I think we're just going to lose the main because I don't want to go unleashed yet. I mean, we could put out Colossus, honestly, but it's actually not a horrible idea to so just drop Colossus. Hmm. Now let, let's do this. Let's go power protection for Phoenix Firebird. And we're going to place two power counters on Phoenix Force. I'm not ready to go unleashed yet. And I thwarted this. Um. We're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna lose that, which is too bad. So we'll deal one damage here. And we've got our combo, wombo combo here. So we'll ready up. 
Oh, there's another mutant protectors. X Mansion. Telekinetic attack. Okay, sweet. So two, four, five. Telekinetic attack can almost get rid of magnetic bubble. We still have that tough though. E. Okay. So we're going to place one here, which will scheme us out. Place one magnet counter here. Um, if Sabotage Master Mold is not in the victory display, it is. Um, the first player searches the encounter deck for an m -type Sentinel minion and reveals it. So after you place a magnet counter here, if there are three magnets, then yada, yada, yada. Magneto is going to attack us. We will use X-Jet to play Mutant Protectors to declare Colossus the defender of the attack. So he's going to attack us for three plus three. Oh, so that runs into the tough. And then a magnet counter. We will remove three and go ahead and discard until we get a magnetic card. Exhaust each upgrade and support you control. This one is so brutal. Um, place one magnet counter on the main. That is so incredibly brutal. Oof. Ouch. Okay. Cannot activate two damage here from M type. Then we got a bad card. When revealed hero, you are stunned. Take one damage for each magnet counter on the main scheme. So I'm stunned and I take two damage. Hmm. Bummer. Bummer. I don't quite know what to do about that. <laughs> These magnet counters are just insanely quick. Just tough. I gotta get rid of this stunned eventually. Unison is at four. not quite sure what all to do so we don't need a mutant protectors i guess we could get x mansion down hmm having all of those exhausted is pretty rough we could go telekinetic attack but i mean that's just overkill on this sentinel but i mean like we could but the problem is we're stunned tough tough exhausted <laughs> i may need more allies in here so one, two, three, four, five, six allies. Probably want to go with a little bit more, a little bit more allies, especially if we're running mutant protectors. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a necessarily winning scenario right now. <laughs> um, Let's go ahead and just knock off this stun. We'll go Phoenix Force, Mutant Protectors for an X Mansion. We'll hang out there. Okay, so we'll ready. draw so we're gonna keep our telekinetic attack phoenix suit uh mind control telekinetic sh Ooh, telekinetic shield's gonna be solid and a psychic blast i want to go unleashed give me unleashed i i shouldn't have placed those counters i should have i should have probably tried to go unleashed because psychic blast would have been really nice here Okay, we'll place one. Magneto is going to attack us for three. We're at five. Um, we'll have Colossus take the hit. So three plus two. So that kills Colossus. And then we got a magnet counter. Hey, there goes an advance. 
There goes exhaustion. That's nice to see. Uh-oh. Magneto's helmet attached to Magneto. Uh, Magneto cannot be confused. After your hero makes a basic attack against Magneto, spend one of each of the resources um, to discard the card. Not looking too great. Not looking too great. But if we can just survive. If we can just survive. Uh, cannot activate. We got a two attack coming in. We'll take it to the face. Um, and then our bad card is electric shock. You are stunned. Take one damage. Oh my goodness. Come on. Um, so zero. But we got stunned again. We just drew that same thing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that hurts. At least we did. <laughs> At least we didn't get everything exhausted. Um, let's go extra and team building exercise for telekinetic shield. We will basic attack to get this stunned off. Mind control seems so good. Um, we can't use psychic blast, so let's go ahead and use team building exercise. Oh, no. Phoenix suit doesn't look like that. Um... I need to get this sentinel out of here. Am I really about to spend? No, I didn't. Uh, we're going to use the Phoenix Force instead of the X-Jet for that. Um, let's use X-Jet and Team Building Exercise and Psychic Blast to play Telekinetic Attack to just hit this Anti-Sentinel. Just got to get, gotta get it out of there. Leaving this Acolyte out here is not my best idea, but I, I don't know what else to do. Um, we're going to hang out with mind control and phoenix suit mind control is just gonna be so solid once we get it we also haven't drawn any of our psionic oh that see now that those are coming our misdirections yeah so we we are gonna draw a misdirection we're gonna draw two misdirections actually um but we are gonna hang on to these two so we don't deck out but then when we draw the misdirections we can have magneto take out unison but she has a tough but at least I'm not taking the damage. Well, if we told draw two misdirections, we can go here. We can ping it. And then he's she's going to hit retaliate. Okay, okay, that works. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. So we'll hang on to these two. We'll draw three cards. Um. Okay, so the last one is, unfortunately, another psychic misdirection. That just saves us another turn, probably. But here we are. So let's ready. We'll place one counter here. Oops. One uh, threat there. Magneto is going to attack. We will use a Psychic Misdirection. Yeah, Psychic Misdirection to have it go towards Unisone. So it's going to be a three uh, plus one. That's going to knock off the tough then Unison cannot activate. So I didn't need to draw it anyways. Okay. Okay. Psychic Misdirection is really good. I, 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 I wasn't sold on it, but now I really like it. So let's go ahead and take our encounter card. When revealed, take the topmost magnetic card in the encounter, discard pile, and give it to Magneto as a face down boost card. Magneto activates against me. Uh oh, that's fine. Um, let me plus two because we have this, this shield. So Magneto's gonna attack for three plus two 
plus two. And there goes my obligation, making it a little bit easier to go unleash now. So it's going to be five, seven, seven, then discard the shield, which is actually kind of nice because we're about to shuffle. Okay. We're, we're, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Um... Uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't think about it. I should have used suit to go steady okay we could just lose um actually Magneto attacked twice so we're at two magnet counters hmm let's go ever vigilant and mind control for a Phoenix suit so right now we have steady. Actually, we're going to hang on to mind control. We may actually be able to hang on to ever vigilant. So if we go Phoenix suit and we go X jet, uh, X jet and mind control. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Check this out. So X jet and mind control. I'm trying to not go unleashed. I don't think I want to go unleashed quite yet. Maybe that's just what I need to do. Maybe I just need to go unleashed. Unleash the Nova Force. Okay. Let's go ahead and thwart this off. So this gets killed. Um, we use a team building exercise and a Phoenix Force. So this flips into unleashed. So we get minus two thwart plus two attack um, for a ever vigilant because we now have the aerial trait. So remove two threat from a scheme. We get to ready our hero. Oh, that whole retaliate one thing is not, not the, not my favorite thing. We're at three health. So I think we have to roll down. He's going to be scheming for three. So we'll, we'll pop this. Yeah, so we will pop that no matter what. So instead of thwarting three off of there, instead of, uh, no, it's ever vigilant. It has to take it off of there. Never mind. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and, well, this is a psychic misdirection. So that does save us in one attack. That does save us an attack. So that's nice. Um, let's go ahead and just thwart this last one off. Okay, let's ready. Hey, hey, called it. <laughs> I I'm thinking about running some more out. I. I'm assuming that this is probably not going to end well for us. <laughs> I'm thinking about running more allies and more psychic misdirections and then the uh, the powerful punch and sub that out for. I don't know. Maybe the Cerebros. Maybe the Alter Ego kit. I don't know if I need the Alter Ego kit. If we draw a, if we draw an Acolyte, we lose. No, actually, we're not. We're probably going to take her out. Oh, okay. telepathic trickery. Okay, what doesn't kill me? Phoenix Firebird. And Rise from the Ashes. Ooh, Rise from the Ashes. If we can get down, that's actually really solid for us right now. Um, okay. So one goes here on the main. Magneto is going to attack. He actually no longer has guard. Let me take that off. For three plus a boost card, we are going to X-Jet and Phoenix Firebird. Actually, we're not going to actually, we're going to uh, rise from the ashes and Phoenix Firebird. Yeah. For a psychic misdirection, 
So Magneto swing three plus two boost cards, which will take out Unison. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, magnetic counter. So, oh, we were going to uh, magnetic. Um, reveal that card. So this surges. So that's less exciting. When revealed, defeat a sentinel minion in play, then take five damage. You may discard X cards from your hand to prevent X of that damage. That is game. Because I can only prevent two. So that will deal three damage to us. Alrighty, okay, so. Whew, that was brutal. What are we gonna get? Acolytes and Magneto's armor. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's take a look at the deck build real quick. Um I don't think I don't know if what doesn't well what doesn't kill me is really good. I don't, I'm not going to run the Mutant Protector route. That was not something that I could reliably uh, rely on. I want another copy of Psychic Misdirection. Let's just take out all the Phoenix cards real quick. Um... Ever vigilant could be cut. My allies are gonna go over here. I'm just gonna clean up. We'll talk through it together. Uh, I like the team building exercises. Cerebro is nice, but I don't know how much I want to be in alter ego, honestly. Um, X Jet is probably gonna stay. Phoenix Force is definitely gonna stay. Oh, this is gonna stay. Okay, let me find my allies. Professor X was clutch. Um, Angel and Polaris. Those were really nice. We got our doubles. We'll keep those. Um. Okay, so let's grab another copy of Psychic Misdirection. Yeah, let's see. I want to go Psychic Misdirection, Powerful Punches. Where that puts us at. Uh, Jacasa can actually grab Psychic Misdirection. So Jacasa is still a in play for us. Uh, that's over there. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, quite. Um. The standing up and readying is nice. It's can we get the Phoenix suit down soon enough? So we got five plus Coloss or plus Cyclops. X Mansion and Cerebro work really well when I am able to roll down. What and maybe I just maybe once I threat this out, I go unleash and I roll the dice on if we draw Dark Phoenix. I I don't know if I should let the threat of drawing Dark Phoenix prevent me from trying to progress the game state that much. Yeah. So we got team building exercise, X Jet Utopia. Um, so we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are definitely in there. Here we got four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine. I feel like what doesn't kill me works. Ten. We got five cards to work with. I'm wondering if we just, I'm wondering if we run another powerful punch. It's 
So that's 10. This is 10. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Do we run... What, uh, what doesn't kill me? Power protection, powerful punch, and like rock slide? Don't know if I love rock slide. He's kind of expensive. Or, I mean, like we could just go like super cheap allies. Um, like Clea. I like Clea. Let's, let's just grab Clea because I kind of like her. Black Widow could be interesting. Mm. What about Iron Fist? Easy access to stun. Do we have any aerial? No. Oh, Starhawk is aerial. So let's go with Starhawk. Because he can be discounted with team building exercise once we have the, the suit out. So Starhawk is kind of interesting there. And then... Electrostatic armor, because we were playing a lot of those defense events. Huh. Honestly, another copy of What Doesn't Kill Me is a, maybe a good call. And Powerful Punch was the other one that we were looking at. Okay, so let's let's thin from here. Let's see what we can do with this. Because damage was our issue. So we have five slots and six cards to put in them. Or no, seven cards to put in them. So cut two. Um, I think the power of protection stay. What doesn't kill me stays. So we got two slots. I think Starhawk is interesting. I really do like Clea here. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten. I keep trying to find if there's a two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want, I want more allies. Um, X Mansion. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut out X Mansion and throw in a powerful punch. Uh, what doesn't kill me? I'm going to throw in a what doesn't kill me. That's two, four, six, seven, eight allies. I feel like that's a lot better. We got more healing and more readying. This powerful punch is going to stay cut, and we will see where that leads us. I like it. Okay. Let's see how that works. Okay. Phoenix is starting in restrained. And I do think that we once we clear that side scheme, we go unleashed. So set us up to go unleashed just because minion control is an issue. So if we can get minions, if we can figure out how to uh after minion, yep, yep, yep. Physical strain, that's out. This is here. Whew. Okay. It is a constant onslaught. I will say that it is, it can be, it, it is brutal. It is very, very brutal. It's a thick encounter deck. 
You think we got this one? I sure hope so. The other option would be to go Shadow Cat Protection. Um, we, we still can swap out. Shadow Cat Protection could work. And we just go like a flow like water build. But that's a long game. And I feel like Magneto, you don't want it to be super long because of those magnetic counters. Uh, I need to go back up to nine. We never touched his health, so we're good there. We got Phoenix Suit right off the bat. We got Polaris right off the bat. We got Cerebro right off the bat. Telekinetic attack, we will mulligan. What doesn't kill me, we will mulligan because we haven't taken any damage. Um, okay, we'll go into Psychic Misdirection and Energy. Okay, so we don't need a Psychic Misdirection because, well, there is no other enemy to, to target. So that's good. Okay. No longer has Retaliate. So let's flip up to Phoenix. We'll use a Phoenix Force, a Power Protection, and a Polaris. That will give us a tough status card. Phoenix will thwart boarding party down. Polaris will thwart Asteroid M. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we flip up, before we do any of that, let's do Psychic Misdirection for a Cerebro. And let's go find... Not Professor X, not yet. Jocasta. Because that will allow us to grab a Psychic Misdirection. Nope, has to be an X-Men ally. Has to be an X-Men ally. Oops. Um, that kind of limits our options a little bit. <laughs> um, let's go Angel. So we will we'll go Phoenix or we'll go energy for a Phoenix suit. You know what? Yeah. No, we're gonna go energy for an angel. We'll hang on to Phoenix suit. Angel will Knock that tough off. We're ready up. Rise from the ashes could be really good in this scenario. Uh, white hot room, so two, four, five. I like white hot room, honestly. Um, once we are able to flip down that's the, that's the issue is you can't it's gonna be hard to flip down um okay so we got one oops wrong one we got one here magneto will attack for three we'll let it run in plus two magnet counter there i'm supposed to have a face on encounter card uh deal one damage to each character you control boom boom this tough is already gone place one magnet counter on the main scheme gross m tight sentinel Guard, when defeated, give him a tough status card. Okay. Part of me just wants to throw Rise from the Ashes down. Oh, can be so tough. Um, Rise from the Ashes and White Hot Room. But I do want to get Phoenix Suit down. I think if we have Rise from the Ashes, we don't necessarily need the White Hot Room this time around. So let's go ahead and Strength Starhawk for a Rise from the Ashes. 
and then we will use that and a white hot room for a phoenix suit so now we have steady let me see if i can find my steady there it is haha -ha, we're steady go go to your home we'll fort this down so that's now in the victory display orbital decay comes in we got three on that uh we're just gonna leave these guys around for blockers okay so we will ready got phoenix firebird telekinetic shield that's nice professor x coming in clutch at the right time because now we can confuse and roll if we wanted to um genius so two four five in a cyclops okay Placing one here, Magneto is going to attack us. We will defend with Polaris. So it's going to be three plus one. Polaris dies. Third magnet counter gets placed, so we'll discard until we get a magnet. magnetic card. Attach to your identity, max one per identity. Attach to an identity, you cannot thwart, attack, defend, or recover. Exhaust your identity and spend a physical resource to discard this card. Gross. Okay, we can ready with Phoenix Firebird, though. So we're good. Uh, Telekinex Shield is our only... Uh, we can use a... That would push us into... Hmm. That's tough. That's tough. Um, Emtai Sentinel is going to hit us for two. We'll take it. And then our encounter card. Zeal for the cause. Resolve the win defeated ability of each Acolyte minion engaged with you. If you are not engaged with an Acolyte minion, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded and reveal it. Amelia Vought. Stalwart. Teamwork. And when defeated, the player defeated is confused. They are already confused. Place two threat on the main scheme. Hmm. This is not good. We have to, we have to get rid of that. Um, but I just really don't want to use telekinetic shield for that. Hmm. Oh, we can use Cyclops for it. Okay, okay. So if we... Okay, check this out. Let's use a... Nope, we can't do that. We're just... We're not going to be able to get rid of Orbital Decay this turn. That's fine. So let's use a Genius and a Phoenix Firebird to play Cyclops. So we'll place two counters on Phoenix Force. Um, we will exhaust and spend this counter to get rid of this. A lot of tough decisions. A lot of tough decisions. Let's go ahead and use Cyclops to... Hmm. Um... Cyclops is going to deal two damage to Amelia. We're going to hang on to both of these cards. We're ready. We've got team building exercise. Mind control. Ooh. Mind control that M tight Sentinel. Now we're talking. So two, four, five. 
that would be pretty pretty sweet i would be a fan of that we would lose professor x but that is that that's a good move there so we're gonna go throw one here magneto is going to attack us for three angel will block uh plus three. Oh, geez um magnet counter on the main angel is uber dead and we've got three attacks coming or three coming in so one two three and then our bad card is going to be master magnetism take the topmost magnetic card oh my gosh okay um and give it to magneto as a face down boost card then he activates be plus two so it's at least five so cyclops has to defend this so cyclops will defend for uh six damage so when cyclops is defeated we remove two from phoenix force oof da wow It actually may have been worth triggering Rise from the Ashes there. Too late, but just kind of a thought. So let's go ahead and go Phoenix to take care of this Orbital Decay here. So he loses Steady. Um, We're going to hang on to Professor X. I'm going to toss... Yeah, we're just going to go for it. We're going to toss these three and go Unleashed. Oops. Uh, for Mind Control. The Emptide Sentinel. So it's controlled ally with a blank text box. His thwart is equal to his printed scheme and takes one consequential damage after it thwarts our attacks. Sweet. Uh, no longer has any guard, so that's nice. Huh. Uh, <laughs> this is tough. So if we go two, four five plus a boost so we're popping that main no matter what i'm thinking about rolling down honestly i'm thinking about rolling down we could get in a lot of trouble if we do flip another acolyte minion because then we start scheming out like crazy let's go ahead and yeah we'll just hit her for two the sentinel and so if we don't flip down, we trigger Rise from the Ashes. And we don't lose this, probably. I think I'm okay losing this. It will mean another Magnet card, though. No, it, it won't. It won't. It won't. So we're... Yeah, we'll flip down. Um, and we'll, we'll call it there. Okay. So we will ready up. draw six and we no longer have this but we do have retaliate so that's kind of cool uh which could be a reason to not flip down to kill amelia but we're good okay so we got a what doesn't kill me a jacosta a psychic misdirection to for powerful punch and a power of protection that is not great that's fine that's fine we're okay we're all fine so we're going to place one here. Magneto is going to scheme for two plus one. So this pops. Um, it is in the victory display. So we don't have to get an M-type Sentinel. This comes in. We place a magnet counter. And that comes in with one. Amelia is going to put two on it. Bad card is going to be Electromagnetic Blast. Exhaust each upgrade and support you control. Okay, so no Cerebro for us. Um, and place one magnet counter on the main scheme, which will trigger the magnetic. There's a sentinel. Nope. Nope. Oh, there goes burning hunger. That's really nice. There goes shadows too. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Where's our magnetic cards? There's one. 
When revealed, each player places the top six cards of their deck face down under here. When defeated, Magneto activates against the player who defeated this scheme. Oof. That's tough. Comes in with three. Not quite sure what to do about that. And an acceleration. Okay, it is now my turn. Um, let's There is no, there is no saving the onslaught. This is crazy. Um, four, seven. We could go up to full. Actually, maybe a little more. Um, we have Magneto Psychic Misdirection himself into. We have another psychic misdirection in the discard pile. We do. So we could have Jacosta grab a psychic misdirection. Um, honestly, that is probably a good call. So let's go ahead and heal three. We get to place a Phoenix counter. We'll flip up. We will use um, Professor X, what doesn't kill me in a powerful punch to play Jocasta. And we will go, we'll have her go grab Psychic Misdirection. We have a power protection and a Psychic Misdirections for this next interaction here. So we will have, oh, actually, you know what? We can have, Mag we can, we can, Take care of this. And then we have a defender. Um, do we want to do that? I think we have to. Um, we have to get rid of this. So let's go ahead and thwart two here. Um, so that does two damage to Jocasta. Empty Sentinel will thwart this last one here. Um, so Magneto activates against the player. And we lost, we lost our second team building, which is pretty tough. So Magneto is going to attack for three. We'll Psychic Misdirection this over here. So three plus zero. So Amelia is donezo. And we've got a Magnetic Counter there. We are at seven. We'll stand up. Got Psychic Blast. Let's go. Psychic Trickery. Okay. Okay. X-Jet. Clea to four. And a Powerful Punch. Okay. So I kind of like the Powerful Punch here. I do want to get... It would be nice to get X-Jet down. But that's... I mean, we're just... We're getting in a lot of trouble there. Um, X-Jet... Can get clay on the table. So this goes up to four out of six. Magneto is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. M-Type Sentinel has a lot more work that it can do. We're not going to have it blocked. We'll have Phoenix defend for two, plus two. So it's going to be three damage to Phoenix. And one Magnet counter here. 
bad card is going to be attached to Magneto. Magneto cannot be stunned. After your hero makes a basic attack against Magneto, spend one of each of the resources and discard this card. It has a plus one attack. Okay. Hmm. Do we do we drop X Jet, or do we we? Mm, I feel like we need to telepathic trickery. He can't be confused, which is a no. Or he can't be stunned. He can be confused though. I feel like we have to drop telepathic trickery, and then we can go um, X Jet and Phoenix Force for Clea. Okay, let's let's do that. Uh, we'll powerful punch and a psychic blast for a telepathic trickery. Remove four threat from a scheme. And stun and confuse. He can't be confused, so we will just confuse Magneto. We'll use this counter and the X Jet to play Clea. I don't actually know if that's the right call. I mean, I'm wondering if the right call is to just hang on to. The X jet. Now let's get clay on the table. So we'll go three damage. First blood to Magneto. Okay. Uh, Magneto takes one damage from my retaliate. So second blood from Magneto. We will. We'll flip down. We will ready. We're going to deck out, which is a little annoying. So we get an encounter card. Four health. Oh, there's another psychic misdirection. What doesn't kill me? Colossus. What doesn't kill me? So two, four. Uh, mental paralysis. Two, four, five. And a uh, third. What doesn't kill me? Jeez. Okay. Um. That's fine, I guess. So we'll place one here. Magneto will scheme, but he's confused. He's actually not, also not steady. I forgot to take that off. And then we'll reveal. Ooh, uh, Delgado. Retaliate 1, Teamwork Acolyte. When defeated, each stunned and confused card from the villain and give it a face down boost card. And then another M-Type Sentinel. Okay. So this Psychic Misdirection, I feel like we just hang on to that. And we can do some shenanigans where Magneto can probably take out Delgado. Um... He can definitely take out M-Type Sentinel, but I think I can take out M-Type Sentinel. Um, I can. Okay, okay. We're feeling pretty good, we're feeling okay. So let's go ahead and Cerebro and go grab... Okay, let's think about this. We want to heal one of these what doesn't kill me is we'll pay to ready and heal which will put us at 479 so that will be actually we can just do we can pay we can use all three of the two of these what doesn't kill me to pay for what doesn't kill me um, if we heal and that would put us at full then we are sitting at a Colossus and a Mental Paralysis. So if we go grab, um, what's his face? Uh, Angel. We could play Angel, or actually we could play a three. We could play we could play Professor X because we have Mental Paralysis, Colossus, and we could go grab Professor X, and then we would have a counter here. Let's do that. Let's go grab Professor X. Or. We do none of that and we can get rid of Magneto's armor. Let's do that. Let's get rid of Magneto's armor. So I feel like 
No, that doesn't work because I need to attack the sentinel. Um, we can get rid of Magneto's armor later. Uh, let's grab Professor X. We don't want Professor X. We want because we we got a we're already redirecting the attack. So Professor X probably isn't the best call here. Let's find Cyclops. Let's get Cyclops onto the table. That's going to be that's going to be a that's going to be a good call right there. Okay. And M type Sentinel's about to be ready to take a hit for us. So that's nice. Okay. So we'll recover for three. One, two, three. Which places a counter on Phoenix Force. We will flip up to Phoenix. We will use what doesn't kill me. What doesn't kill me uh, to play a what doesn't kill me. To so heal two. One, two. And ready. Then we will use a Phoenix Force, a Colossus, and a Mental Paralysis to play. A oh, wait. Hold up. We're going <laughs> to first uh, use Clea to... Hit Magneto for one. Then we're gonna... Clea dies. She gets shuffled back into my deck. Then we're gonna do... Um, the Phoenix Force that I already discarded. Mental Paralysis and Colossus for Cyclops. Which throws two counters on Phoenix Force giving me a couple more resources um let's go three damage to the sentinel or we could go two two oh he has guard though yeah so three damage to the sentinel and then m type is gonna kill his brother we'll have colossus hit magneto for two Taking one damage, and Delgado's sitting out there about to get wrecked. We've got our Psychic Misdirection, so let's go ahead and stand up. Got a team building exercise, a Starhawk, a Phoenix Firebird, and a Power of Protection. Sweet, okay. We'll place one here. Magneto is going to attack for three. We'll power protection, psychic misdirection it over here. Actually, four. So four plus zero. No. Um, okay. So that deals four damage. Um, I have retaliate. So Magneto is going to get hit by one. Uh, <laughs> of course. Mag Magnet is going to trigger... Uh, Magneto gains Retaliate 1, 8 or more damage to get rid of the Magnetic Bubble. Gross. Um, Delgado's going to hit us for 2, which we will probably just take right to the face. Um, We'll take it to the face. We're at eight, one, two. Okay. Our bad card is going to be Magnetic Mayhem. When defeated, the player defeated the scheme, discards the top four cards of the encounter deck, places one magnet counter there for each magnetic card discarded this way, and it has an amplify. They do not let up in this scenario. Woo! That's a four boost, too. I didn't realize that they had four boosts in here. Okay. So Cyclops is going to take out Delgado. I think, actually, this magnetic mayhem is going to be nasty. We do have another, we have another psychic misdirection. Nah, we'll we'll kill Delgado. We got we got we got to. Um, Oh, that retaliate is brutal. Um, I 
So right now I'm thinking of, do we get rid of Magneto's armor? No, I don't think we do. Let's go one from Phoenix Force, toss a Firebird to play team building exercise. Got a blocker, we got blockers. Um, we'll deal three damage to put it on the armor. Okay, we will ready. I'm gonna keep Starhawk. Um, telepathic Trickery. Okay, so that's gonna take care of that. Um, psychic Blast. Te telekinetic Shield, There's that's nice to draw in Cleo. Okay, so we'll place one here on the main. Magneto is going to attack us for three. We'll have M-Type. Uh, do I wanna put an M-Type back in the deck? I'd rather do that than Cyclops. So yeah, let's go M-Type. So it's gonna be four plus two plus one. So M-Type goes away. Mind control gets shuffled or put in our discard pile. Magnet counter on the main. And we deck out. So this is an acceleration token. What are, he is at 13. We are not doing a good job on, on taking him out. Oof. I think we just have to go face with him. Like, I, I don't know. I think uh, if we draw shadows or something now and Dark Phoenix comes out, that's going to be really sad. Um, Under Fire Surge, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. Master plan. So, oh, shoot, place fourth threat on this side scheme. So, Magnetic Mayhem is going to be hanging around for a while. And then the Acolytes. Each Acolyte minion gains guard. Sweet. That comes in with three. Okay, um, what do we do here? Okay, so let's attack for three we'll place three here then we will spend a psychic blast a clea and a phoenix force to get rid of magneto's armor okay let's use a telepathic trickery a starhawk For a or team building exercise, Starhawk for a telepathic trickery. So remove four threat. So we're going to remove the acolytes. And because we have the unleash, we're going to stun and confuse Magneto. Um, I think we roll down. We're gonna flip down. So ready up. We got a powerful punch, energy, telepathic trickery, so two, four. The X jet, so two, four, five. Strength, okay. Okay. So we're going to place two here on the main, so we're at five out of six. Magneto will scheme. He's confused. Top card in encounter deck is Fabian Cortez. When defeated, the player defeated Fabian Cortez discards cards from the encounter deck until an Acolyte minion is discarded, then puts that minion into play engaged with them. Gross. Again, gross. Um, we have a powerful punch, which we... Oh, actually, we can... We have this misdirection, so we can... Oh, he's stunned, so we have a powerful punch we can kill him with. Um... Do we have an ally? Let's go ahead and just Cerebro, just to see what our options are, at least. We've got Angel. That's always a good call. Polaris is really interesting here. Professor X, not so much, I don't think.
Well, we could confuse him again. Well, but he's stunned. So let's go pull ours. We're at six health. We're gonna we're gonna stay here. We're gonna flip up to Phoenix. Um hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack and get rid of magnetic bubble. I don't I never took the retaliate from last time. I was still at six. So now I'm at four. Um which is okay. Let's go ahead and team building exercise strength for a Polaris will give myself a tough status card. That's energy for a telekinetic shield. And then we will X jet and powerful punch for telepathic trickery. To remove four threat from a scheme and stun and confuse. So we'll just confuse Magneto. No longer has retaliate. Okay. Polaris will. Hmm. Well, I now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I wanted to uh, get rid of powerful punch. It's, it's what we have to do. Um, Polaris will attack. Cyclops will attack. So Cyclops is going to die to kill Fabian Cortez. Discard cards until we get an Acolyte minion. Um, oh, there goes my obligation, which is nice. Come on, give me... Okay. I was hoping for <laughs> Shadows as well. So, uh, Sin Sinyaka... Teamwork Acolyte, it gains piercing. Of course it does. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ah, uh, just one after another. When defeated, the player defeated is stunned. If they were already stunned, they take three damage. Okay. So we will ready up. Oof. Okay, so Polaris may just take that hit. Um, so we will draw into White Hot Room. Telekinetic attack. Now we're talking powerful. Oh, powerful punch. Let's go. We can just take out. Uh, there we go. Okay. So psychic blast. So two, four. Phoenix firebird. Okay. So we actually may want to rather do psychic blast and just have Polaris take the hit. And then psychic blast can kill everything, especially if we do flip into another minion. Um, no, I'm gonna because he's an acolyte. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take him out with powerful punch. I, I have to take him out with powerful punch. Um, so go there. But we wouldn't be able to play telekinetic attack, which is less less exciting. Um, we could no. Do we roll the dice and we go Psychic Blast for four on Magneto and to kill him? We have Polaris. Well, Polaris, no, we're going to have Polaris hang out. So, um, yeah, we're going to have Polaris hang out so that she can uh, take another hit. So we've got one threat here. Magneto is stunned. We're going to have a, well, we'll have a Telekinetic Blast and a Phoenix Firebird um, pay for a powerful punch. So that will take him out before he's able to activate. And then we will, oh wait, we needed one more because we have a acceleration. And then you are stunned. Take one damage for each magnet counter on the main scheme. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, one damage. So that knocks off my tough. That's, no, interrupts. They have ruled that interrupts take priority over toughs, but it's not an attack, so dang it. Bye, tough. Bummer. Okay. Okay, so he's at 13. Let's go ahead and swing to knock off this stunned. We'll use a team building exercise and a white hot room to play psychic blast to deal four damage to him. We'll have Polaris deal two to take him down to seven. 
We will stand up. Uh, actually, we may flip down. Um. Yeah, we'll flip down. We'll draw six. So two, four, six. Actually, hold up. Let me see. A powerful punch there. Two. I think we're running two powerful punches. Yeah, we're running two. How many misdirections do we have? Um, there's one. We have another one in our deck, but we we couldn't misdirect because. Okay. There it is. Okay. Professor X, Power of Protection, Utopia, Telekinetic Attack. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we'll place two here on the main. Magneto will scheme, but he's confused. We'll flip into Electromagnetic Blast. Exhaust each upgrade and support you control. Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. Okay. okay. So we're actually ready. We're at four health. We're going to flip up. We're going to have a genius and a psychic misdirection pay for Professor X. Um... You know what? We're actually We're going to attack for 3. Professor X, we're going to ready Phoenix and have her attack for 3 more, taking him down to 1. Professor X will thwart 3 off of the main. Taking one consequential. And Uh, we're okay. We're gonna actually have played Utopia, so that still all works. But we're gonna use Professor X's uh, ability to confuse first, and so Utopia triggers when Professor X enters play to ready. So everything kind of worked out the same. Okay, so we will stand up. We deck out again. Team building exercise. Angel. No pressure. No pressure. So Magneto, uh, we're going to get a magnet counter. So we're going to go one or two here. Magneto will activate. We will have Professor X block. So it's going to be three plus three. Professor X dies. Then that's going to be the third magnet counter. So we'll discard until we get a magnet card. Oh my goodness. Surge. Dang it. Uh, so defeat a Sentinel minion. In play, take five damage. Oh, this one's so tough. So take five damage, which would kill us. We can prevent it by. We never drew up. Uh, <laughs> uh, angel, power protection, energy, and strength. Um, this is. I want to get team building exercise onto the table. Um. Might as well leave me with one health. See, that's the thing. Because I have Rise from the Ashes here. Um, so I'm going to keep Angel. We're going to toss these two to prevent two of that damage. So I'm going to take three. One, two, three. And then we're resolving three encounter cards. So we got Zeal for the Cause. When revealed, resolve the when defeated ability of each Acolyte minion. If there are no Acolyte minions, uh, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, then reveal it. Delgado's back. Then we've got Electric Stock. You are stunned. Place one damage here for each magnet counter on the main scheme. So I am stunned. Zero damage. Thank goodness. And then Magnetically Sealed. Place two additional threat here for each ally in play. So that's going to be six threat with a crisis. But I think, I mean, I think at this point we just need to go as fast as we humanly can. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know if there is a... Yeah, I, I don't I don't quite know what to do 
other than just rush at this point. Um, that wasn't an attack. We still have telekinetic shield too. Um, hilarious. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and attack with Phoenix to knock off this stun. We will use a... We'll use a energy to play Angel. We'll exhaust Utopia to ready Phoenix. We'll have Phoenix, or Angel, attack Magneto. So steady and toughness. He doesn't have steady, but he does now have tough. Um, when revealed, deal each player a face down and counter card. Um, huh. Okay, let's do take that down to th three. I don't love it. Um, let's knock this tough off, and he's at twenty two, by the way. So let's put him back up to twenty two. Team building exercise is here. Thinking about rolling down. <laughs> um, oh, well, we have this. Magneto can redirect here. So I'm I'm thinking Magneto is going to redirect to Delgado. So let's not roll down because we have a defense strategy. We'll roll down later. Okay, so we'll ready up. We're going to toss team building exercise. I need my big attacks. Uh, Starhawk, Psychic Blast. Okay, powerful punch. Let's go. Phoenix Firebird, so two, four. And Telepathic Trickery. Okay. So this is going to pop. Uh, place two Magnet Counters here. If Physical Strain is not attached to Magneto, the first player searches in Counter Deck. It is. Um, so two Magnet Counters. This comes in with one. After you place a magnet counter on the scheme, if there are at least three magnet counters here, discard cards. Yep, 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 yep. Three magnet, yep. Okay, so everything is the same. This has two. Okay, so Magneto is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. We're going to use Phoenix Firebird and a Starhawk to play Psychic Misdirection to re go Delgado. So it's going to be five. So mm, two, four, five. Retaliate one from me. So down to 21. Delgado is going to hit for two. Oh, we'll take it because we got Phoenix Telekinetic Shield. Um, so two here, retaliate one, kills Delgado. Okay. Uh, Ma actually, before all of that, Magnet counters trigger. Discard till we get a Magnet card. Deal one damage to each character you control. I'll place one Magnet counter here. Uh... Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. That stinks. Okay, so that wipes these two allies. That kills me, but rise from the ashes. When you would be defeated, remove this card from the game, ready your identity, and restore its printed hit point value instead. So we'll go up to nine. Then Delgado's dead. And one magnet counter on the main. Encounter card is attached to your identity. You cannot attack, thwart, recover, defend, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Um. Okay. 
So on my turn, we will exhaust and spend a powerful punch to get rid of this. We're going to use... He's at 21. Gross. Um, where are my big attacks? I already passed one of them. I have not. So we still have 14 damage... Or we have 18 damage in the deck. Um, minimum. This is... We have how many? We have just a couple of turns here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out if I want to... Actually, this this had an amplify. Let me pull the amplify out. So this actually doesn't even have the two damage on it. Okay, so what I'm trying to figure out if I want to psychic blast deal four damage, take them down to 17. Blunder, but everything's fine. Everything is not fine. We are we are struggling today. Uh, or should I start working on this magnetic shield and potentially buy us more time? I think I'm gonna work on the magnetic shield. So let's go. Team building exercise, psychic blast for telepathic trickery to remove four threat from here. And then stun and confuse. That also stuns Magneto, which helps us. Okay, so we will ready. There's one of them. White hot room. Powerful punch. There's the second, so two, four, five. There's a what doesn't kill me. It's at 21. There's 18. So if I could pay for both of these, we win. I, I, I can't, but if I could, we, we would. So if we can survive two turns, we're good. We're good. Um, okay. So we'll place two here on the main. He's stunned. Top card. M-type Sentinel. Dang it, it's a guard. Oh, well, we have overkill. That's, that's not the end of the world. Um... Okay, so let's go. Did I, I haven't been doing this. When did he get that? I feel like I, I got rid of that a while ago, didn't I? I definitely got rid of that a while ago. That's gone, that has to be gone. I didn't just flip that, did I? No, because that was in the discard pile. Are there two of those? I feel like I'm going insane. No, I definitely got rid of that. I must have just not have discarded it. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's hit this M-Type Sentinel for three. Let's use... A team building exercise, a powerful punch could be really nice here, actually. Um, a white hot room. And a what doesn't kill me? To pay for telekinetic attack, so it's nine damage, so two, seven rolls over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, give Magneto a tough status card when it's defeated. Um, we're going to have Angel kill himself and knock that tough off. So 14. We have 9. We don't have kill in our hand. Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and stand up. Psychic Misdirection would have been really nice. Another Psychic Misdirection, and what doesn't kill me? Okay. So, we're going to place two Thread here on the main, taking us up to five. Magneto's going to attack us for three. We'll take it to the face. Uh, four. Telekinetic Shield soaks four of that. And then, Magnet Counter here. We got Unison, so teamwork, toughness, when defeated. Okay, so we have to figure out how to deal... Took one Retaliate. Figure out how to deal... I don't know if we can. 
Uh, oh, dang it. Um. Six. It's 13. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to do it. Because this is going to screw us up. Because we're going to we're going to pop here. Oh, no. Telekinetic attack deals nine, taking him to four. We're going to be one short. We are one short. Yeah, we are one short. That's so sad. So I ran a game today with Expert Rhino and 27 modulars. Whoa. I ran... Slam Jam She-Hulk and one barely. That's insane. 27 modular seems crazy. I am so mad right now. Oh. I don't think there's nothing we can do about it. Actually, um. Yeah, there, there's nothing we can do. Um. So sad. So, so sad. We are one damage short. I'm surely Mr. Retaliate in there somewhere, right? just trying to see if there's any way um i should have done the i should have be right back going to restart the app uh net is not even going to rest, it's okay um Okay, let me see if I keep having my net timing. Oh my goodness. So if I didn't go here, well, I, I probably would have died, but if I you know, no, if I didn't, if I didn't go to the four, I would have done four damage. We would have been okay. Oh, it's so excruciating. There's that stupid guard. Um. I, if I roll down, I could Cerebro somebody. But I, I can't threat this. I can't thwart this down. Huh. Nine. Yeah, I'm at 12. Ah, so I had a fever dream and made a retaliate black panther. I have retaliate three and just block and heal for days. That sounds incredibly fun. I love those types of builds. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean like this, this, there's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. I don't necessarily know what I would have done differently. So let's... Oh, well, I I should have just gone, gone damage. But I didn't know I was going to draw my telekinetic attacks. I, I still think... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so what... Hmm. Trying to think if one of the other one of the other X-Men would be better for protection. And 
that's those psychic misdirections are really good it could be shadow cat but sh sh shadow cat i think shadow cat's issue with protection is going to be minions maybe not she's just gonna be so good with in aggression colossus needs to run aggression cyclops would be great in leadership cyclops is not gonna do it in protection oh i'm just like no we were so close and and it goes back to that one play it goes back to that one play if we hadn't removed the fourth right here he wouldn't have been stunned we probably would have taken an attack which well that's a mag magnet counter so who knows who knows I like that Drunken Master Shadow Cat. Yeah, that's a really cool deck. Um, I like that one. And so, yeah. Mm. But if we go Shadow Cat and Protection, that means that Phoenix would have to go Aggression. Phoenix and Aggression is dumb. What if we tried more of a Rush strategy? I feel like that's what we tried to do here. Um, if I go back and watch this video and I missed one retaliate, I'm going to be so mad at myself. <laughs> um, okay, so what, is, what does it look like? Or what, what do we do? What do we do here? What is our... What is our play? Powerful punches probably stay. Um... I mean, I, I like the deck. I like the deck. Maybe Cerebro goes. I don't know if we like Cerebro. I don't know if I like Cerebro all that much. Well, I, I do. I do. I like Cerebro. Um, I tweaked that 20 damage Phoenix leadership. That'd be pretty sweet. Um... The, the problem is, is that if we... So what I'm doing is I'm doing one aspect per X-Men. And so if I go with a... Per, if I go with a, like, Leadership Phoenix, that means that I have to run Protection and probably Shadow Cat. Which Cyclops then could go Aggression. Should say about the Black Panther, it's Retaliate 3 to Retaliate 7, depending on the board state. Retaliate 7? How does that work? That seems crazy. Hmm. I no, oh, these are not the good cards. These are not the cards I want. So Rise from the Ashes was was clutch. Those guards killed me. The guards killed me. Um Maybe I maybe quit. Well, I like I think we need to get to stun and confuse quicker. I think I, I want more stun in the deck. So what does that look like? Tackles. Probably tackles. Electrostatic armor would be kind of interesting. That would have, we if we drew it at the right time, that was probably what two psychic misdirections, a powerful punch. It's probably not worth it. Black Panther is base one. Electrostatic armor one. Dauntless is one. Flow like water. Oh, the events with flow like water energy bears. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um. Unflappable is not a horrible pick here. Um, I've rushed out Master Mold without attacking. Yeah. With the with the protection deck? That's pretty cool. 
Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing with our lives, y'all? Um, let's try it one more time, just because I feel, I feel like I need to at this point. Let's toss an X Mansion and a Clea. And let's put in two tackles. Uh, alrighty. Hitting for 80 in two turns with She-Hulk is way more fun. I bet. Yeah. 80 with She-Hulk. What, what, uh, what kind of deck was sh that? Is a, did you say it was aggression? Slam Jam She-Hulk. I, I, I'm not quite familiar with that. What is sh Slam Jam She-Hulk? I am still just gutted from that loss. So sad. Yes, but hitting for... Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, this will be the last try. Uh, I can't believe that. That was so sad. That comes in with three. Steady toughness. He's at 20. I'm at nine. So Slam Jam She-Hulk is basically draw 24 cards a turn if done correctly, and you're just gonna slam consistently. So is it a leadership like strength and numbers type build? Don't need that. It did feel like we just got so many barriers thrown up in our face too. So that was kind of that was kind of tough. With all of the you can't attack thwart. I'm running one extra card. Am I okay with that? Or four cards short. <laughs> Think one extra card. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. I don't care. We're running 21 cards. Yeah, you get six allies out. There's a bunch of upgrades, so you consistently hit three assess situations, sometimes six a turn. Oh, yeah, and with your split personality. That's pretty sick. Hmm. That sounds really cool. Huh. Yeah, that would be really fun. I have not played a lot of She-Hulk. Did you watch the show? Two split personalities off in one turn. Nice. <laughs> That's got to be satisfying. I w yeah, I want to... I need to break out She-Hulk. I'm hoping that I get to do her in a hero spotlight here soon. You don't pay for Disney Plus. That's fair. One damage. I can't believe it. One damage. Ah, so close. <laughs> mm. But I think I think the strategy is to just not let, to try and just not have magnet counters hit, because the magnet counters are so brutal. So stun them as quickly as possible. Then again, I don't pay for Spotify. I get all the premium goodies from it, but still, I'm not giving them any more money. Yeah, they have enough money. <laughs> we got Phoenix Suit, Psychic Misdirection, Polaris, Rise from the Ashes. Oh, no. Utopia. All of these are really good. Um, oh, no. Okay, we don't need Psychic Misdirection. We don't need White Hot Room. Rise from the Ashes. 
was so good. Um, I'm wondering if we can survive and get it on our next deck pass and build first. We go here. Phoenix suit. Phoenix suit is good. Gives us aerial and steady. I feel like Phoenix suit is also a second deck pass. I'd rather get these two in play. So let's go ahead and mulligan four. What doesn't kill me does not help. Phoenix firebird also doesn't help. Tackle does not help. And psychic misdirection does not help. Oh no. Um, okay. So we'll flip up to Phoenix. We will use, we'll thwart boarding party down. That's actually fine. We'll go, what doesn't kill me in a tackle for a Utopia? We'll use a Phoenix Force, a Phoenix Firebird, a Psychic Misdirection for a Polaris. We'll give Phoenix a tough status card. Um, we'll exhaust Utopia to ready Phoenix. Go ahead and thwart down here and then go to Orbital Decay. Polaris will knock the tough off and take a damage. Okay. So we're ready. Draw into a telekinetic attack, a mind control, power of protection, Colossus, and a angel. Two, four, five. Okay. Place one, Magneto is going to attack. We'll take it to the face. So it's going to be three plus exhaust each ally you control. Okay. One magnet counter on the main. Uh, keep room and then rise pitch the rest. Did I just completely ignore you? <laughs> I'm sorry. You said keep room? White hot room? Hmm. Probably should have done that. I don't know. We'll do two cards. We've got... Attach your identity, we can't do anything. And then deal one damage to each character you control. Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. Knocks off the tough. Well, the tough's already gone, actually. Um, and then we'll take one damage. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and exhaust and toss a Colossus to get rid of this. We'll go... I'm gonna hang on to mind control. That was so good. Um, Phoenix Force and a telekinetic attack to play Angel or Ready Phoenix by exhausting Utopia. And we will go ahead and thwart down Orbital Decay, getting ready for us to go crazy. We'll hang on to power protection and mind control. We'll use Angel to hit for two. I play Phoenix more for her spinning ability. Like I don't do anything except recover her and spin counters like she was an X-Jet. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. That could yeah, that's an that's a cool strategy. I'm gonna toss. Uh, I'm gonna We're going to toss mind control. I don't think I'm going to be able to play mind control. We're going to keep my... We'll, we'll use it as a resource. So let's ready. Draw into team building exercise. Power protection. So much money. And a telepathic trickery. Bummer. Um, let's hope for a mind control. We'll go one here. Magneto is going to attack. We will have Polaris defend it. It's going to be three plus three. Polaris dies. Magnet counters triggers. Exhaust each upgrade and support you control. Place one magnet counter on the main. So I'm the only one who thinks that they botched Wolverine instead of making him just X-Men. He could have been X-Men Avenger. That, yeah, I think like... Hmm. I think that would have probably broken him. I think the the Avengers already have so many things available to them that I feel like the Avenger probably could have 
messed with them. I, I get where you're coming from, right? But like just from like a lore wise, but also like Wanda and Quicksilver could have been X Men too. And so like there there's there's so much lore in the uh, in the comics that I I see how they just kind of like let's just pigeon him into one, and then maybe we get to see a crossover in a couple years, where then we get to see uh, X Men Wolverine or something. Just imagine him having both a Quinn carrier and an X Jet. The free, yeah, it'd be absurd. It'd be crazy. Bad card is a M type signal. Sweet. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we're going to um, mind control the Sentinel. Let's go ahead and thwart three off the main. Actually, hold up. We're going to keep one of these cards and use a Phoenix Force. Uh, let's keep a team building extra. No, let's keep a telepathic trickery because then we will, we'll be able to go, um, we'll be able to go crazy. We'll attack for four. One, two, three, four. We'll stand up. A powerful punch, tackle, strength. And a genius. Okay, sweet. So one, Magneto is going to attack. We'll block with a Angel. Plus three, Angel dies. Did I do two encounter cards? I did, yeah. Magnet counter, and then encounter card. You are stunned. Take one damage for each magnet counter on the main scheme. So that's going to be two damage. And stunned. Cool. We're going to get rid of this stunned. We will play a tackle to deal three damage. Ooh, actually, hold up. We're going to hang on to a powerful punch. We're going to use a tackle and Phoenix Force. So flip us into unleashed form. Uh, so tackle will deal three. One, two, three. And then we're going to hit a strength and a telepathic trickery. So this is going to clear and we are... He is both stunned and confused. M-Type Sentinel will hit him for two. And we have a powerful punch, which we will toss. And I think we will probably... We'll flip down just to get more cards. So we got a Psychic Blast, a Telekinetic Shield, Team Building Exercise, Psychic Misdirection, Telepathic Trickery, and a Powerful Punch. So we got one here on the main. Magneto is going to attack, but he is stunned. We get a bad card, which is an M-Type Sentinel. Okay. Okay, so we will... We'll flip up to Phoenix. We'll attack. Oops, I forgot to ready the Sentinel. We'll attack to kill the Sentinel here, which will give Magneto a tough status card. I took off the wrong status card. Boom. Then let's go... Telepathic Trickery and a Powerful Punch to play Team Building Exercise. We will exhaust Team Building Exercise. Um... And toss a Psychic Blast to play a Telekinetic Shield. And we will ready. We'll toss Psychic Misdirection. What doesn't kill me? Starhawk, Cyclops, Jocasta. And per well, there's all my allies. I found them. Two, four, five. Uh, Helicarrier plus Jet plus Quinn, you get a near free Nick Fury or totally free Professor X. That'd be so sick. I hope we get Apocalypse soon. Not sure if I want him. 
as a hero or villain though i want both i want magneto as a hero i want them to do like a nebula like what they did with nebula i feel like that'd be pretty cool i'm gonna throw one here magneto is stunned then we're gonna get an encounter card exhaust each upgrade and support you control place one magnet counter on the main scheme dang it okay so that's going to trigger so we'll discard until we get a magnetic magnet or magneto cannot be confused after you make a basic attack spend one of each resource and uh discard that okay let's go m type sentinel to knock off the tough hang on to a jocasta we're gonna spend a what doesn't kill me a starhawk and a professor x to play cyclops actually where are my what doesn't kill me one we're gonna hang on to what doesn't kill me instead of jocasta so we get two counters on phoenix force um we don't get to trigger utopia but we'll go ahead and hit magneto for three one, two, three. And then we'll have Cyclops hit him for two. One, two. So down to six. We're just going to try this kind of rush strategy here. <laughs> we'll stand up. We got the X Jet. Energy. Cerebro. So two, four. And what doesn't kill me? Okay. So one goes here. Magneto is going to attack for three plus a boost card. We will go ahead and take it with the M-Type because I want mind control back in the deck. So three, shuffle each Acolyte minion in the discard pile back into the encounter deck. Okay. That'd be dope. Uh, if we get a hero mags. I want his nemesis to be a, a Joseph though. He was such a, such a cool character that gets no love. I don't think I know Joseph. Hero mags would need to come with Savage Land Modular Packer uh, with Sauron being the big guys from it. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, I I'm I like the idea of them doing all of that. Um, or like having villains that are heroes as well. I just think that'd be really cool. Our bad card is going to be Surge Exhaust Your Identity card. Bummer. And Surge is into Master Plan, so we're going to discard until we get a side scheme. Here goes my obligation. That's nice. Do we have side schemes? Good gracious. Am I just insane? There it is. And. We haven't. Oh, there's shadows. Sweet. Okay. So that's good. That was a lot of cards though. So that comes in with four. When defeated, the player defeated this scheme. Discards the top four cards of and the deck and places magnet counters on it. Okay. Let's go team building exercise energy for an X jet. We will use Oh, the Sentinel's dead. <laughs> Oops. X jet and a cerebro to play what doesn't kill me so heal two damage so i'm up to six and i get to ready magneto is at six um i feel like i, I need to get rid of that at some point but where are my big attacks There's one. So we've only passed one. So we have another one. We have a nine attacker in there, which is pretty nice. Um, and actually, we're going to not toss the what doesn't kill me. We're going to use a Phoenix Force counter instead. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Magneto for three.
Cyclops will thwart this down. So we're ready. Draw one, two, three, four. We deck out. Oof. Joseph was a younger clone of Magneto that popped out after the Onslaught story. It was believed that Joseph was Mags, hence since the name, but it turns out Mags was just licking his wounds after Xavier brain bended him. He also had a brief thing with Rogue because he had some ability to nerf her powers, though it turned out to just be uh, Maggot hurting Joseph. Interesting. I need to read some, some of these comics. They sound really sweet. So one goes here. Magneto is going to attack for three. Um, we will take it to the face. So three plus two is five. So that will kill telekinetic shield. We got two encounter cards. We got zeal for the cause. Resolve the when defeated. If you are not engaged with an acolyte minion, discard cards until you get a minion. Then reveal it. No minion, no, oh, we do have a minion. No, Delgado. Oh, uh, we have one card left. Retaliate one, teamwork, acolyte. And then we've got metal shards, deal one damage to each character you control. Dang it. Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. That is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. So that kills uh, Cyclops, which removes this counter. Deals one damage to Phoenix. And then that triggers the magnetic counter. It is not, but now we have an acceleration token. So villains at three, we have to deal. Ooh, you think we can get an onslaught box? Um, there will be, I think there will be another X. There will be at least another X-Men box. Um, there's a, uh, there's a good chance. I mean, there's, there's a good chance that we could do it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's go team building exercise X jet and a Phoenix firebird to play telekinetic attack to deal six overkill three when defeated, uh, give the villain a, uh, discard each stunning confused status card from the villain and give it a face down boost card. Um, so this pops, we get a, um, encounter card. We got that there. He's up to 22. So we know X-Force is coming. I'm betting on Strife being in the big box, the big box baddie. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, we're not going to use the extra for that. We're going to toss a mental paralysis for that. Um, let's thwart one off of the main here. And then we're going to use an X jet, toss a psychic blast for what doesn't kill me. So that's going to stand me up. Um, heal two, one, two. So we're at seven. We'll knock this top off. We'll flip down. Okay, so we're ready. Draw six, that's strength, energy. Come on, give me something big. Psychic misdirection, white hot room, psychic misdirection. Come on, so two, four, five. Not when I need them. And a genius, so much money. Not great, not great at all. Um, okay. So we're gonna place two here. 
Magneto will scheme for four plus two, so that definitely pops. Oh, we were at five. Uh, instead of instead of knocking off the tough, I'm gonna thwart the other one. I thought this was six, <laughs> so he's still gonna have the tough. I'm gonna wreck on that. <laughs> okay, so that pops. <laughs> That would have been horrendous. <laughs> uh, play some magnet counter here. And then those are in the victory display. One magnet counter. One there. Got two encounter cards. Unison and an M-Type Sentinel. Great. Well, we got Psychic Misdirections now, so that's good. We'll probably just hang on to the Psychic Misdirections. Um, I don't know what else to do with my life. Okay, um, let's go ahead and use a genius for a white hot room. We're at seven health. Let's use a white hot room to place a power counter on Phoenix Force. We will stand up. Let's go ahead and... Hmm... Let's knock this tough off. Okay. We're going to keep this hand. So we'll ready and draw into Polaris. Okay. That's nice. This is a boost card, I believe. Um, because that's when I killed this. So this was actually on the scheme. This was a scheme boost card. This is an attack. It's not okay. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place. I've been playing a lot of champions today. <laughs> um, we're gonna throw two here on the main. Magneto will attack. We will use a energy to play a psychic misdirection to. Transfer that effectively for attack to um, to the Sentinel. Four plus two. There goes Shadows. That was big. The Sentinel dies. We'll give Magneto a tough status card. And then we got Unison. Um, one, two, three. So we could get Polaris out. And we got one counter here. Hmm. Um, we're gonna hit Unison instead. So the Sentinel is going to attack. If we misdirect, uh, we're gonna. We're gonna we're gonna be fine with the sentinel attacking us. So we're gonna take two, taking us down to five. One, two. Okay. Our bad card is gonna be Master of Magnetism. Take the topmost magnetic card in the encounter discard pile and give it to Magneto as a face down boost card. And he had activates against you. Sweet. Okay. Well, that worked out well. So we're going to then play another psychic misdirection. So he's going to activate for four plus give Magneto a tough status card and a face down boost card. Um, this is an attack that defeats an ally, plays one magnet counter. So it actually does not kill the sentinel. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> okay. And a face down boost card. Okay, so let's extra team building exercise in Phoenix Force to play Polaris. We'll give Phoenix a. Oh, shoot, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we do all of that, that does place the third magnet counter. Dude, this is brutal. Uh, exhaust each upgrade and support you control. No! No! Oh! Ouch! Ouch, 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 ouch. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh, dang. Um, okay. Place one magnet counter on this game. Okay. 
That's brutal. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, we will we'll go ahead and kill the sentinel. And we'll flip down to Gene. And ready. We're gonna keep Polaris. Twenty-two damage to do. Powerful punch. What doesn't kill me? Psychic blast. Professor X. So two, four, five, and a Jacosta. Okay. So we're gonna place two. Magneto is gonna scheme for five plus two. So that pops. Um, place two magnet counters here. Physical strain is not attached to Magneto. It is. So this now has three magnet counters on it, but we don't trigger the force response. Acceleration and a. Oh, and it also. Uh, shuffle each acolyte minion from the discard pile into the encounter deck. Ah, that's so brutal. So brutal. It basically leaked X Force, but no one noticed it yet because it's on Forge's card. Yeah, so he's yeah, I saw that. Um, though the OG X Force baddie was Apocalypse because X Force started as basically Gene and Scott trying to keep Baby Nathan safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see X Force next. I think we'll probably go um, X Men X Force. That's that would be my guess. If I had, if I got to guess, um, our bad card is going to be. Attached to Magneto, he cannot be stunned. Oofed. Okay, um. Let's white hot room for two. No, for a power counter. Well, actually, yeah, we'll, for a power counter. We'll flip up. We'll make a basic attack to knock this tough off. We will toss a Psychic Blast, a Powerful Punch, and a Phoenix Force to get rid of Magneto's armor. We'll go Team Building Exercise X-Jet and a... We're just we're in so much trouble <laughs> oh my gosh um and a professor x for a polaris will give phoenix a tough status card utopia will ready phoenix will hit magneto for three polaris will hit him for two i need my big attacks that's what we need. So we're ready. I don't think I need a Chicasta. What doesn't kill me is fine. Power protection is nice. Uh, tackle is nice. Telepathic trickery is mediocre. So two, four, and another power protection. Okay, nice. Um, We'll place two here on the main. Magneto is going to attack for four. Uh, exhaust your identity. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I just... It is just so brutal. Ah, um, That's going to knock off the tough. We're going to place a counter here. So that's four. So we'll remove three. Discard cards until we get a magnet card. Surge. Def oh, no. It's the five damage one. Oh no! Uh, oh my gosh. Discard X cards to prevent that much damage. Okay, so what 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 can we do here? Um Oh no. No. Um mm. 
You can do three and do a what doesn't kill me? Uh, I feel like a tackle. We need to, we, we should rather, I'd rather play a tackle. Um, oh, that hurts. That really, 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 really hurts. He's at 17. So the other option would be to... No, I need two health because he has that thing that does one damage to everything. Um... <clears throat> okay, so what doesn't kill me heals me but it doesn't stun him i need to stun him i need to I, I i just need to stun him um so that's gonna be x jet we'll discard three and we'll take two damage mm, tough rough okay bad card is going to be oh my gosh eight more damage and retaliate that's probably game right there i i just mm. If we draw into the big attack, that's fine. The retaliate's gonna basically kill me though. Um, okay. My turn, we're gonna use the X jet, power protection and a tackle. So we'll deal three damage here. Hey, Maddie, thanks for the sub. So to be clear, what's the Magneto challenge? It is a challenge that is kicking my butt. It was, a, it was an idea from Josh to take each one of the four x-men and run it against magneto but you have to draft the um you have to draft the aspects so if i win with protection i can't play with protection on any of the other heroes and so i'm trying to i think protection is going to be worse for magneto and so i think phoenix has probably the best matchup for magneto so i'm trying to pair this out so i can get protection away i think if we lose this game i'm probably going to go protection with shadow cat I don't know. It's it's tough. Josh? Yeah, this is this is really, really tough. Um So we dealt three damage here, and then we're gonna stun Magneto. So that's nice. Polaris will just I guess thwart one off of here. Um So we're ready. Telepathic trickery, powerful punch. Colossus, Tackle, and Starhawk. Yeah, do the Drunken Master Kitty. You think so? Yeah, that, that probably will be the right call. Okay, so we got two here. Magneto is going to attack, but he is stunned. We've got a bad card. That, I'm scooping. That brings Dark Phoenix into play. We can't do anything about Dark Phoenix. We're going to die. It's that's game. Okay. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Just onslaught after onslaught. It was crazy. If I had my rise from the ashes on the bottom, that wasn't great. I guess like we, we could. Mm. Dark Phoenix comes in with Consume the World. I guess if we draw into a Psychic Misdirection, we could have Magneto kill or try and kill Dark Phoenix. Yeah, I it's that's game. It's pretty fun. I've changed out some stuff, but I liked it. Cool. Alrighty, we'll we'll probably try. We'll probably switch it up. I'm gonna do a little bit of deck building off stream. Um, but we'll we'll try it out probably next. Um, I don't know, next stream, which, uh, maybe next Wednesday evening, that may be probably the next time that I get to play for, um, or play with Marvel. So Friday morning at 10 AM, I'm going to be taking on the second challenge in the, um, or second scenario in the Dunwich Legacy campaign with Professor Meg. So that's going to be happening at 10 AM. 
and then I'm going to be off Monday, but back on Wednesday morning where we'll do Lord of the Rings and then probably Wednesday night we'll continue on with this challenge. So hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit more. I think if we switch into aggression. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably go drunken kitty or we'll drunken master. We'll try that. I, I, I feel like protection is our worst is the worst case scenario here. Um, which actually that might not even be true because the, the problem is, is he's activating so many times and when he activates, he places magnet counters and the magnet counters are the, are the brutal ones. Hmm. Try leadership Phoenix with the 20 damage Goliath. If we go leadership Phoenix, aggression, Cyclops protection, shadow cat, justice, Colossus. I feel like that could work. Um, the 20 damage Goliath could work. Yeah, I think there's a couple of I think there's a couple of um, options in there for us. Have you seen Shield Clops? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's so disgusting. Um, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So thank you so very much for hanging out, everyone. It's been a long stream. It's been a not a very progressive or that's not the right way to say that not a very we haven't progressed very far in the stream we got we lost by one damage i'm still so uh hey the maria hill spam that's my deck i love that deck i'm just so so frustrated one damage it was one damage uh -huh. Mm. Alrighty, I will see you all. If you have not joined the Discord, please do so. It's a fantastic place. I'm probably going to talk about this. I'm going to yell at Josh at the dis on the Discord. And then we will see you all on Friday. Friday at 10. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Peace.